to Green Lou. Uh, just wanted to introduce us, what we do, and uh, the products that we have. Uh, give you a bit of a tour of our showroom. Now, Green Lou was started with the vision to empower people, or help empower people to live lightly on the planet and live lightly on the planet with as cost-effective uh, solution as possible and also with as much Australian made as possible. Uh, so you, as we walk through the showroom you will say that, uh, see that about 85 to maybe 90 percent of everything that you see is actually Australian manufactured uh, which is something that we're pretty proud of. So let's start off with composting toilets, uh, just a brief introduction as to how they work and the different systems that we have available. So composting is a uh, thing that happens in nature automatically that's been going ever since nature was around, so we're talking about billions of years. Basically it's a breakdown of organic matter into something that other plants can take up and then grow from there. Um, the composting process is something that actually um, creates a pathogen-free product, so something that goes in originally, so like human feces for example, that is quite riddled with um, you know, different pathogens. After it's been through the composting process, it actually becomes a harmless end product that's also very nutrient-rich. A um, couple of things are really important for composting. Number one is the carbon-nitrogen balance in the compost. So the human waste obviously adds the nitrogen to the compost, so we need to add carbon to balance that out. So we basically have something here. At the moment, these are um, hemp shavings. Uh, these um, are great because they also um, absorb a lot of moisture and they bring the carbon into the composting process. When the composting process has finished after three months or longer, basically you end up with something like this. This is the finished compost, uh, which is totally pathogen free. It's safe to handle and it's even odor free. It smells just like, you know, moist forest floor basically. So that's great. Um, and probably the most common question that we get asked about composting toilets is, do they smell? Well, no, absolutely not. Basically, as part of the uh, systems that we sell, there's always a, a vent system with a fan involved. A low voltage fan draws very little energy. So like here, any smells get drawn through and then out through your vent stack uh, so that even as you open your toilet seat and you create your smells, they get drawn right through. So in real terms, it's actually a less smelly affair than a flush toilet where the smells stay in the, in the toilet room, of course. So there's obviously a lot more to composting and uh, I encourage you to look at our website uh, with any questions that you may have about this or any other things that we uh, explore in this little tour. So let's go around to our different systems that we have. We start off here with what are called self-contained batch composting systems. These are generally the smallest uh, systems that you can get. Um, there's two word words in there that are important. Um, one is batch composting. Now batch composting is when you have at least two or more containers that do the work for you. So when one container is full, you take it away, you put an empty container in, and then you fill that up and then you swap them over. Um, which is a, a great thing. What it actually does is means that batch composting systems can be increased in capacity very, very easily. So these um, systems here uh, being self-contained, um, which means that they're actually mounted on the floor. They don't need any underfloor space. And the composting bin itself is actually inside the system. So you then, when the bin is full, you lift the lid up, you take the inside bin out, put a new bin in. So that's uh, the quick changeover. The advantages of a self-contained system is that, uh, as I said, you don't need any underfloor space. They go straight onto a concrete floor, for example. Um, the uh, compromise you make is, of course, because of that very fact, the bins are limited in size. 
so they're usually one, one to two person systems. However, being batch composting, it means that you can purchase additional bins to make your one to two person system into a two to three, three to four person system, etc., etc. Um, so we've got a, a variety of these different uh, systems here. They all do different things. Um, if you want to know more about our self-contained composting systems, then uh, look at our website. There should be appearing now a link on the screen to our self-contained systems. They show you all the different ones that we have at the moment, and you can then click onto each individual one to um, learn more about that sp um, specific system. Next along come the split systems, the also batch composting systems, but they're split systems. Now what that means is that you have the toilet pedestal inside your toilet room, and this is a ceramic pedestal. It looks, feels very much like a standard pedestal. However, the actual composting bin is below floor level. So um, that means it's a split system. Um, again, the batch composting system, so with each system you will get two bins, one active, one out of service, and you can add extra bins to it to expand the capacity. Um, so that's a great thing. Um, and also being a split system, that means you have the bin underneath the floor, it allows you to have bigger bins. Uh, Self-contained, you're limited by the size of the pedestal itself. Here, you can have bigger bins there. Um, uh, however, you do need underfloor space for these. Um, they do come in all different sizes, so we start over here with our smallest one, the GL55. That's a one, one to two person system. Your GL90, which is a two to three person system. This is um, probably our best seller and it's really, really popular for uh, tiny homes because you can install it right uh, with a very low clearance. Um, then you have the GT systems, the GT120, which is a, like a four person system, and the GT330, which is uh, to my knowledge, the world's largest or biggest capacity um, batch composting split system. So this is for um, eight people uh, with your two bins standard. If you purchase an extra bin with it, it immediately is enough for 16 people. So that's a great um, advantage of your uh, batch composting systems. You can expand them to yeah, basically whatever size you need. Now let's walk over here. These are our continuous composting systems. They're also split systems in the fact that you, your floor of the building will be here and your pedestal will be above there. So these have to be below floor. Uh, they can be buried up to halfway. So this one you know, gives you a very low profile as well. So that, that's also good for uh, tiny homes. Uh, being a continuous composting system uh, is different to a batch system in the fact that you only have one bin and it all happens in here. So um, there's a little bit of maintenance involved when you know you have the, the back area full, you bring the waste forward and let it refill at the back. Um, also comes in different sizes. On show here we've just got two sizes at the moment which is the CF4 for three to four people. Uh, CF14, which is obviously quite larger, which can also accommodate two pedestals so that you just steal the shoot from over here. So if your building allows, you can actually put two toilets and let them um, go into this one container. Um, advantage is obviously you don't have any changeover of containers. Um, the disadvantage, if you like, is that the composting capacity is set. With the split systems, you can just add another bin. With these, you're stuck with a particular size system. So I suggest always uh, on the larger side, the bigger capacity side, if you uh, choose one of these. And let's go on to uh, another one. This one here is our rotor. Uh, it's quite unique in the fact that it's also a batch composting split system. So your pedestal is above here. The main composting bin is underneath. 
but it actually has several bins inside the unit which you know you can move on so when one's full the turntable you move that on etc etc uh, a very ingenious system also uh, an australian made system of course um, and uh, it comes in different sizes this is our uh, 650 which is a, a four person system you can go to the 850 which is an eight uh, 950 sorry no, an eight person system or the maxi or the 2000 which is a commercial system the larger ones allow for two pedestals also the smaller one the 650 doesn't and then finally over here we have the Enviroloo which is um, also uh, a unique system in the fact that it's a, a composting slash dehydrating system so um, what you have in there um, this is your your waste opening so your pedestal will sit on there and then it's got a um, plane um, like a ramp that, that goes backwards um, and the waste composts and dries on there as it works, works its way back. The advantage of this particular one is number one it's quite a large capacity system so there's four sizes this is a, a 10 person system there's a 20, 30 and 40 person system available which is you know, obviously quite big and the other advantage is that it can be buried up to here so that means that your toilet can actually be on ground level, on floor level. This is particularly useful if you need disabled access either privately or often of course with uh, public facilities. So that's giving you a bit of a, a rundown of our composting toilets, um, what they do, um, how composting works. And let's just quickly walk past here. We've got a couple of um, solar power systems here. And this one is a small 20 watt system, which is enough to power your fan if you don't have um, electricity connection where you are. So you can run the fan 24-7 uh, through solar. Of course, there is a wide bird option available as well. And then we have our 100 watt system here, which is um, a bit bigger, obviously. Uh, it also has a uh, pure sign inverter, which means this is big enough to also run one of our grey water systems, which we'll be talking about very, very soon, as in right now. <laughs> Okay, uh, the grey water systems that we have here, again, Australian made, um, you start off with a grease trap. So all your kitchen water goes through one of these friends here, um, and they are in capacity from 45 to 150 litres, larger ones available, of course. So your kitchen water goes through there, and only your kitchen water. Uh, the grease trap does as what the name suggests, it traps the grease and the oils, which you don't want to go into the next stage, which is your grey water diversion systems. So after the grease trap, the rest of your household grey water joins and then goes into one of these. Um, these are different sizes, they do different things. Basically, a grey water diversion system is very simple. You have a filter that filters out all particular matter particulate matter and then a holding tank with a float switch activated pump now when that water reaches a certain level the pump kicks in and pumps it out um, there's different systems available uh, the smaller ones here which are manually cleaning so every now and again you go pull the filters out wash them out in the bucket very inexpensive solution and then you get over here to an automatic cleaning system that does that job for you. Uh, obviously a little bit of added cost involved. When the grey water is pumped out, um, it then uh, you can either get it into a, um, disperse it in a trench, which is okay, but it's more like um, um, getting rid of a waste water, or you can use it to actually um, uh, water your, your garden. So, what we suggest is a, a grey water drip tube. So these grey water systems pump through these drip tubes, which you then can put around trees or in ornamental gardens or something like that. If you choose this option, we suggest buying the drip tube 
through us rather than just the grey water system purely because the drip tubes are matched in flow and resistance to the pumps there. Yeah, well that's giving you a, a bit of an overall look as to the um, uh, different things we have here, our, our showroom and why we do what you do. I hope that you enjoyed this little tour. Um, there should have popped up some uh, web links um, during my little speech that give you a direct link to the different pages for the different systems. Um, and of course, towards the end now, hopefully, there is a www.greenloo.org link, which gives you a link to our website, and you can then explore there, look at all the different things that you are interested in. Um, and if you have further questions, don't hesitate to drop us a line, email, web form, give us a call. Um, we're only too happy to help and answer any questions and help you make a decision as to how you can best uh, realize your uh, environmentally friendly or off-grid lifestyle. Thank you.